Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Remco from rjvguitars.com. Very proud to show you this week's new arrivals. And as I say every week, it's a pretty cool bunch by Gibson, Fender, Ibanez, Paul Reed Smith, Marshall, and more. Here we go. We're going to start off with this 2019-1958 historic in a beautiful lemon burst finish. It's a light flame, light plain top. It's a mix of both. Pretty cool, I have to say. Nice dark fretboard with the aged inlays. It has custom buggers. Lots of historic correct specs. Comes with the original case, papers, tags. It's all there. Nice weight of 3790 grams. So pretty light well below four kilos so if you want a lightweight not too expensive like a murphy lab but a nice historic in a lemon burst finish with a fat neck here you go okay something different for the ibanez and petrucci fans it's been a while since i had one of these but i sold a lot of them in the past they've become pretty collectible and expensive right now maybe that's why i didn't buy them for a while because i had to get used to the high pricing of these days but now i pulled the trigger and bought one again because they're so cool right this is the john petrucci jpm p3 the black and white with the picasso heads original pickups original hardware it's all there original case only thing replaced is this one but i will see in the storage if i have one to give with the guitar Pretty excited to see how quick this will go because they're pretty hot. All right, we have something really, really special. As again, this is the new Explorer by the custom shop, the 1958 Corina with this beautiful woods. Take a look, the grain on the sides. This guitar is untouched, mint condition. From this year, all complete, all the historic specs, only 19 were made at the time, but now Gibson is building them again for us, for us to enjoy. Beauty ride. And here is another very nice arrival, a Gibson ES275 hollow body with a lovely maple top and back as you can see take a look at the flame show you from some different angles it's flamey all over the place thin line body and these have the MHS Memphis historic spec pickups to get that nice 50s tone this guitar isn't as big as the earlier Hollow bodies, it's a nice shape, a bit more comfortable to play. Such a lovely maple. Show the back. What a beauty, right? The neck is mahogany, as you can see. This one was built by Gibson Memphis. 2018 comes with a rosewood fretboard, block inlays, original case, certificate, checklist, it's all there. All right, here is another hollow body, and not just any. This is a 1959 historic ES175 by the custom shop, built in 2015. Also these MHS Memphis historic pickups. Take a look at those inlays and that craftsmanship. This is a true beauty. Comes with this original woody bridge and an adjustable one. Hide glue neck joint. All these historic specs. VOS finish, so it looks a bit 
aged. Three, right? All right, on to the next one. This is not just any Paul Reed Smith. This is an Artist 3 from the 90s. Take a look at that top. There were no private stocks at the time. So this was a pretty luxury model at the time. Take a look at that inlay work around the fretboard, around the headstock. The guitar has some play wear. Usually Pori Smith guitars are pretty pristine, especially the collectible ones, but this one is for a player, which is also nice, of course. Gold hardware, a bit faded, as you can see. There's a ding here. Another pretty exotic builder. This is an Gnex. Gnex. Not sure how to pronounce it. The chop tank. Telecaster inspired with a single cut style body. See through white finish. Aged ivory, they call it. Swamp ash body. Comes with all the goodies. Originally delivered by Peach Guitars, great shop in Great Britain. Love their videos, great guys. Pretty cool guitar. Okay, now we're going to something pretty rare. This is a 2007 Gibson Explorer. They made 400 of these. It's inspired by a 1984 Explorer. Gibson actually even delivered it from factory with these EMGs. It really has a James Hetfield vibe. The previous owner put these steel knobs on there to match the Hetfield even more. But the original knobs are included. This guitar has some finish checking, especially at the sides of the fretboard. I will take more pics in detail and put them on my website. The white is already starting to yellow a bit. Cool piece. And the other guitar you see here is an Edwards Schenker V, which was built as Kirk Hammett's Gibson Schenker with the mirror guard mirror. Looks pretty cool on it. Nice set for the Metallica fans. All right, let's do another Gibson Historic. This is a 2018 Gibson 1958 Historic aged. Take a look. Aged finish. Another blend of a flame and plane, as you can see. Some flame here, some flame there. No monster flames this week for a change. This one comes with the aged case as well. Also all the tags, certificate. Nice one. Okay, another Gibson. This is the Brian Ray model, the SG Junior. Model after his 62 SG Junior. The beautiful ebony block here. And the, the finish is really stunning. Let me see if I can capture it well. Take a look. Pretty nice. It also has a crown inlay here. Nice detail. His name. On the hanger, there's some wear, as you can see, the red stain. But overall, this is a very clean guitar. With the checklist, certificate, original case, and a nice detail. The certificate cover has the same pattern as the wood. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's arrivals. Please check rjvguitars.com for availability and if you have something similar to sell or trade, please let me know. For now, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Stay healthy and bye bye.